Hey, hi everyone. In this session, we will see Python fundamentals and we'll start with if statements. So what are the if statements in Python programming? So if statements are a kind of conditional logic, like if there are two situations, if situation A happens, we do something. And if situation B happens, we will do another thing. And let's see how we can understand more if statements in python so i'll go to my vs code editor and to understand if statements so we will write a simple program which will give us an idea like what exactly if statements are and how we can use if statements in python programming so i will create a new file let's say if statements you can give any name to this file just for understanding. I'm saying if statement and the extension should be Python. Okay, just to make uh, these things interesting, I'm gonna use input function in Python. And what essentially input function does is whatever you entered on your keyboard, Python will read it. So let's say I'm defining a variable x. And I'm saying I'm calling this input function within input function I can write anything let's say I'm saying enter number so what it will do input function whatever it will in the console it will write the message enter number and whatever end user you in this case will type on your keyboard it will read that number and it will say print you enter you entered let's say using plus operator i can write this x pretty simple i'm getting a number from a user i'm just printing it on the console so far we have not covered if statements but let's see how this is goes whether it's working or not and on the right top side we can see this green arrow just run this command and let's see what happens in our console and as you can see right here right in the terminal output we can see enter number so let's say i enter 25 and press enter i am getting the message you enter 25 so whatever I'm entering from my keyboard, this Python program is again printing, hey, you have entered 25. Now let's see what the agenda of this session is to understand if statements, right? Now let's say there's a problem statement. Say you have to find whether a user has entered a positive number or a negative number, right? So you can enter anything, right? You can enter a plus one or minus one. 25 in this case which is positive by default and you could also enter minus 25 so our program should be intelligent to tell us whether end user has entered a positive number or a negative number just trying to correlate right this is a kind of conditions in in, in my problem statement there is some condition positive or negative right so whenever there is some conditions involved we can use if statements to write the logic so what we can do so now i will delete this i'm fine that hey i want to uh, take input from the user now i'm going to use if statement so if in vs code you write simple if then intelligence right vs code is very intelligent it will provide us these options right you can use if if else so i'm going to use this if else is statement so if you click on this if else this kind of syntax will be auto generated and as you can see this if here we can write condition followed by colon if condition passed we can write something if condition failed we can write the else part so there are two conditions so we are using if else statement if something happens do this else do another thing so in this case the condition is on x right so if I say x is less than 0, right, 
which means this is mathematics if any number is less than 0 that means the number is negative and if, if the number is less than 0 I will say hey if the number is less than 0 then you could write you entered negative number this is simple example just to show what we can achieve with if else statement I'm just printing you enter negative number but uh, you could also write any complex logic in this right based on certain conditions and uh, if number is not ex less than zero which means number is greater than zero or equal to zero in that case I could say in the else part hey you have entered let me copy this in second case I would say you have entered a string we should always include in double quotes but in this case you have entered positive number pretty simple right in line number one I am taking input from the user by using input function input enter number based on input right two things can happen a person can enter negative thing or a positive thing and I'm checking here if x is less than 0 print you enter negative number else you entered positive number all right fair enough now using this uh, this cylinder you can clear the console window right now let's see how it goes we have written if else logic simple if I click on this in the console let's see what happens enter number right so in the console I entered let's say 56 wow I got an error trace pair so whenever python programs some face some error right they always throw this message trace pair so we got trace pair which means there is some problem in our program some problem right and here is the problem this type error less than not supported between instances of str and int what kind of this problem is i will read again we are getting trace back and in trace back the description is type error less than operator not supported between instances of str and int which means we can compare apple and apple we cannot compare apple and dog so there are two different instances one is integer one is a string and we cannot use less than operator less than operator we can use only with integer int and whatever we input from keyboard it is being read as a string so currently at line number one x is a string type but zero is integer so a string less than integer trace back type error right so to handle this we can use int function which means whatever we are getting from keyboard or from user we are converting it into int right after this now x will become of type integer now x is integer 0 is also integer apple can be compared with apple so less than operator can be used with integer so i hope with this fix our program should run let me clear the terminal if we run again right so enter number so let's say i have entered 56 you wow it's working fine so you entered positive number let's clear and rerun now this time let's uh, enter some negative number let's say minus 89 right i have entered minus 89 so my program should tell automatically that hey you entered negative number which means with if else condition we can write conditional logic and this is I have given this simple example that uh, this problem statement was if the user is entering any number you have to tell whether the person has entered positive number or the negative number so we have written, written an intelligent logic using if statement that whatever is being input by the user we are uh, telling them that hey you entered positive number or negative number so this is a simple example as i said earlier also we can write complex business logic inside these if block or else blocks but the agenda was to explain what exactly these if statements are 
so whenever in any problem statement if you feel there are some conditions involved right if this happens or condition a condition b then you should think that hey we can use if else statements to solve a particular problem all right so in this session we wanted to cover if statements i hope i have explained if statements and to uh, with that i would like to conclude this session and thank you so much